It's very hard to say what Francine wanted her legacy to be. I don't know that she really gave it much thought, really. I think she was thinking that how can I help students who actually need help. I met Francine at Monash, I think she started probably 66, she was a couple of years behind us. Francine didn't suffer fools, um, she straight to the point. She was very proper, very dry, uh, witty um, and super smart, super bright and sharp. Incredible person, frankly. And I was lucky, very lucky to have known her and, and to have learned from her. Francine McNiff was a trailblazer in law, both in law schools and also in the legal profession more broadly. She had a particular expertise in juvenile justice. She was one of our alumna and she was also a lecturer here in the law school teaching in criminal law. She was the first female magistrate appointed in Victoria at the age of 35 years and she became the first Monash Law graduate to be appointed to that office. I think law was Francine's one and only passion and she was my go-to lawyer. I used to brief her and uh, we'd have lunch together during a trial or something and lunch would consist for her of lim black lemon tea and a smoke or two. That was it. Don't know how she survived on that. She used to say that she never knew how to spell civil. I mean, it didn't exist. The only law, so far as she was concerned, was criminal law. She had a way about it that she would, if you sent her some correspondence, she would literally typewrite. She didn't have a computer, and she would typewrite her responses on the correspondence you sent her. Wouldn't handwrite them, just type, and then fax them back to us. And I think I've still got the fax, and it says that basically when she dies, she wants the obituary notice to read, I have ceased to exist. It blew me away. And that's what I put into the newspapers uh, when, she, when she died. I have ceased to exist, extraordinary. And also on her tombstone, I have ceased to exist. But you know, when you think about it, she hasn't, quite the contrary, with these magnificent bequests. She'll, her, she will live on for a long, long time. To Monash University, Francine has bequested uh, a chair in criminal jurisprudence and a huge scholarship fund for postgraduate study in criminology. So having a named chair that will be named the Francine V. McNiff Chair in Criminal Jurisprudence allows us to do a number of things. First of all, it's a legacy honouring Francine. The second thing is that over the more than 50 years of our history, we've had a proud tradition in criminal law and criminal jurisprudence. So to have a named chair, which is very attractive in the international academic community, for someone who can come to maintain and enhance what we do in criminal law and criminal jurisprudence is a tremendous boon for the faculty as it launches into its next 50 years. Francine wanted to support uh, excellent postgraduate students in having the opportunity to undertake uh, further study. Uh, to pursue their, their passions and interests in the field of criminology and to be supported in doing so because some of our very best and brightest students are not in a position to be able to afford postgraduate study. This scholarship, the Francine V. McNiff Scholarship, will make that possible. She would shy away from the spotlight, shy away from uh, thanks. That's not what she was doing it for. Um, She, uh, very private person, but with a very public legacy. This is the single most important contribution the faculty has received in being able to position where we're taking criminal law and jurisprudence over the next 20 years. And it will flow into our education, our research, our clinical activities. Francine McNiff's legacy here is going to be enduring. We thank Francine for prioritising students and we believe her legacy will live on through the great work that the students and colleagues will undertake here uh, as part of the scholarships that she has left to Monash and we will look after her legacy and ensure that those students are able to go forward and transform uh, communities and lives in just the way that Francine did herself. <laughs>